bypass surgery or CABG surgery, coronary artery bypass grafting is a, is a surgery which is done under full general anesthesia where a cardiothoracic surgeon plans to bypass the blocked blood vessel by either using the veins from the leg vessels. The veins which are taken from the patient's legs are reversed and anastomosed or connected to the main artery called the iota and then connected distally beyond the blockage of the blocked heart blood vessels. Similarly, there are also uh, arterial grafts which are known as internal memory artery grafts are placed where the internal memory artery branch which supplies the chest wall is slowly dissected and then connected to the heart blood vessel beyond the blocked artery. So thereby giving effective blood flow directly beyond the blockage. So this is done by the surgeon, uh, cardiothoracic surgeon depending upon the number and the nature of the block. Doctor decides the need for either angioplasty by stenting or bypass surgery depending upon a number of factors. They, they take into account whether the patient is a diabetic, they also take into account the type of the blockage, the length of the blockage, the number of the blockage, the site where the block is located, where, whether it is a bifurcation, where it, whether the artery divides near the block or whether the, 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 the nature of the block as well as the duration of the block to some extent can be assessed, whether it is a chronic total occlusion or a totally occluded block. So all these factors, also whether there is any calcification and uh, with presence of diabetes, presence of symptoms, the heart muscle function, everything is taken into account. There is a standardized score called the syntax score which takes into account the anatomical factors and uh, depending upon the score and the syntax uh, value of uh, uh, less than 22 usually angioplasty is performed, a value of above 33 a surgery or CABG is suggested, a value between 22 to 33 where individual decisions are taken considering the other patient factor. So the decision completely lies on the, the angiogram findings and based on that the doctor decides which is the best form of therapy for that particular patient.